I think someone is excited. Check this out, man. See? It's like golden Look sunglasses. Well, hello everyone. Dan Herr with Dan Herr Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. There's a train going by. I am back here for day two with all these prospecting YouTubers. Andy, Polly, Jeff, Bryson. We have everyone here today. Anyhow, we're on the backside of Pickerton. We're trying to get into the gravel bar across the river from where I normally go. I've never been there before. I don't know what the goal is like. Today is a scouting mission to see what we can find. If we don't find anything, we'll go to the regular side afterwards. I don't know what to expect, so wish us luck, and I hope you enjoy. Hello? Say hi, Pete. Hello. Say hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, girls. There's Andy. And the Polymeister. It's the hot. Meister. It's hot. And of course, featuring the train. So going into the backside here, I've looked at the maps and whatnot, and I see that there's two different ways in. There is a road that leads towards the claim, but is very overgrown, and I don't see any evidence of it actually going down to the claim. It stays way up on the ridge. I know over there somewhere, there is a road that actually goes away from the claim, but then turns around and comes back towards the claim. It drops you about a half a kilometer away from the claim, but at river level. One of those two routes is gonna take us in there. We're gonna split the group up. One group's gonna go that way, one group's gonna go that way, and hopefully we meet at the bottom in the end. Yeah, we'll wait for those guys, because we're gonna send half the group that way and half the group that way, and I don't know which one's gonna be easier. That goes in the right direction but it leads to a cliff. This goes in the wrong direction, but it should loop around down at river level. So Andy, Jeff, and Polly decide to take the more treacherous route and the route that I don't know if it actually leads to the claim or not through this old road here. And they're gonna see what they can find to access. But unfortunately, I think the slope down is gonna be treacherous for them. We're gonna take the easier route over there. So Pete and I have decided to look for the old road that probably very overgrown, but it should be a gradual descent and gradual ascent coming back to get down to the river level. The other guys went the other way, which uh, they get to walk along the top of the ridge and then jump over the cliff, basically, down the very, very steep slope. I think I'll take it gradual today. So we gotta find this old road. It's here somewhere. Well, we're getting there, getting closer and closer, and the road's in pretty good shape. So we've come down the trail, and we're now sort of at the corner where it turns and goes backwards, back towards Pickerton, and this is easy going. We could take the quad down this, no problem. We need a chainsaw to cut out a few logs, but if we find gold down there, this will be an easy way in. So the road led us right down here to the water's edge. Nice and easy walking, a little bit of bushwhacking, but no problem. We're here looking over the Fraser River and more importantly, looking over Pickerton. That there, it's not quite Pickerton. Pickerton's just up a little bit, right? There, Pickerton. Bryson's coming, he's just gonna be one minute. He's grabbing a pen. All right, we're taking a new path down for Dan today. I'm the leader of the group, but I'm actually at the back. But uh, we're forging a new path. Should be really cool. I love an adventure. Who knows what we're gonna see, but this is exciting. Comparable to finding gold even, just a new adventure in a new place. Okay, we're just here. So far, a little bit of trimming, and this would be a usable access route too. Down, we are literally taking an old sluice run or hydraulic run of some kind down to the claim. Dan, I don't know if you've seen any of this yet, but this is this is absolutely a hydraulic pit coming down. Big cliff sides on either side up there. Here's the natural uh... We're at least 50 feet, 40, 50 feet down into it right now. They're already panning. The girls and Jeff don't waste no time. 
I guess that's the famed Pickerton over there, I'm thinking. I kind of recognize that moss from the videos. I've never had the opportunity to come here myself. Looks like they're here. And there's a helicopter flying, flying overhead. This is one of the ways that the ministry checks on miners to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, not doing anything illegal, is checks up and down the rivers with helicopters and see what they can see. Well, we got here. I had a bit of a camera problem along the way. Luckily, Bryson lent me his camera. So I'm not sure what kind of footage we got along the way, but the road did come down quite nice and easily. And it's something that I can open up for a quad to get down to river's level, but we still have to walk half a kilometer to the claim. Everyone else got here a little bit ahead of us because they just sort of fell over the hill, tumbled until they stopped. Oh, but tumbleweeds. We're now trying some pans. This will be my first pan of the day right here, right there. Right there. Let's go see if it's got any gold. So Andy found gold in his pan. I found gold in my pan. There be gold here. There we go. We got some gold. And there's Andy's. He's got his nice and clean, but about the same amount of gold. And what a great perspective of Pickerton we have from here. That's Pickerton right over there. Well, we're actually on Pickerton here too, but that's where we normally pan on Pickerton. Over here is all cobbles. We'll see if we can find some gold in the cobbles. So I've tried a few pans down low. I tried one halfway up the bar and I tried one way at the top of the bar. And so far, they all seem to have about the same, you know, 30 to 40 micro specs in them, which isn't enough to make anything here worthwhile yet. I haven't heard a woohoo from anyone saying they found anything bigger. Found a rock. Polly found a rock. He gets excited about those. He gets excited about a lot of things. And we're having fun, it's a beautiful day. It's great to be out here. Would be nice if we were finding some bigger gold. So we now see there's definitely lots of fine gold in every pan, basically everywhere we dig here. But we haven't found anything of substantial size yet. This is just a little bit of what's in this pan. If you start looking through the black sands, there's actually more all over the place. I hear Bryson saying something about a bigger piece. Well, that's probably the same as what you guys are finding, though. Yeah, I got one like that. Yeah, that's the biggest No big I've deal, found Bryson. So far. Who cares? No big deal. I got like 10 like that. Yeah, well, you, yeah. Guys, uh, you guys lost yesterday. And who was the winner? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Bryson found some nice gold, that's for sure. Well, Bryson has definitely found the biggest piece so far today that I've seen, Again. but it's still awfully tiny. Oh, there's another one. There's another good one right there. And 10 billion little specks. Yeah, look at all that black sand. That's good stuff. That's awesome. I'm hey, I'm actually, black sand is useful, right? Uh, yeah, it does indicate where gold is for sure. No, I mean, it's useful for making thermite. Well, you can actually make magnet stuff with it. Yeah, you like can do you know, that. Those play toys where you can draw. Yeah, the, those, uh, those the etch a sketch. See, all that gold tells us uh, there's black sand. It is really small. How you doing? We'll keep looking. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep looking, I guess, for a little longer. <laughs> Thumbs up, that must mean you're doing well. Lots of gold? Fine gold, but getting gold. Oh, you're getting gold, just lots of fine, fine gold. Just fine, yeah. Flowery, I'm looking for the chunk. And he's down between two big rocks. Yep. That's a nice looking spot. And hopefully the chunk is in this pan. The gridlessness girls are over there, at least two of them. Two of the 20. I'm not sure where the rest went. So Polly, not a lot of gold here, eh? Not a lot, there's a lot of black sand, which means there could be more black sand nearby. <laughs> so, I see gold in your pan though. Yeah, we have a couple flakes of yellow stuff. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna get rid of it because it's the black sand that make those etching sketches, you know? Okay. Yeah, and you have to have enough etching sketches, things, you can sell them and make a light bright. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's Polly! Hey. <laughs> and Bianca! So we do have a little bit more gold in this one. Uh, that's one of the bigger flakes that I found today. Not a big deal, still not tea bag, but uh, 
Yeah, the more I pan, the more gold it will add up. So with this many people here, we've got like eight or ten people here panning, and they're all finding the same results, you know, 10 to 30 specks in every pan, but they're tiny specks. We have given this bar our best Boy Scout effort to see what's on it. Girl Scout, Girl Scout effort. Our best Girl Scout effort to see what's on it. You know, it's only fine gold here. It's not worth spending much time over here. So I think we're gonna maybe do another pan a piece and then pack it up and head over there and see if we can find these guys some bigger gold. That being said, last time Pete and I were there, <laughs> oh, was it bad. So I'm hoping with this many people, someone will find at least one picker. So here we are at Pickerton, take two. There was no gold on the back side of Pickerton. It was great to see it, but there's no gold here. So we're bringing everyone into the front side where hopefully we can find them all something a little more significant. Welcome to Pickerton, everyone! If you've noticed I've had a lot of videos from Pickerton lately, that's because this time of early, early spring, late winter, early spring, is the best time to be down here on this claim. Give it a month or so, and I won't be able to pan here at all. Water will come up, it'll be underwater. And then late summer, when the water's gone down again, it's so freaking hot! This is the ideal time of year to be panning at Pickerton. And that's why I've had a lot of videos from here over the last few weeks. We're at Pickerton. So an hour ago, we were sitting right over there on the other side of the river, panning and finding almost nothing. So we moved over here to see if we can find some better gold. But Pete's here, so we probably won't. So I'm taking it very easy today. I'm just finding a few simple crevices that I can dig down into, fill a couple pans, see what I can get. But really, I want the rest of them to get some gold today. So, no pickers, but that is a very respectable pan. There's some nice gold in there. Nice quantity of small stuff. Take that all day long. There it is. That's a picker. It is a picker. It tastes like a picker. Oh, up here. I found some of the detector up in here. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Last time I was here, yeah. Yep. Huh? Oh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah. I, I've been hearing those signals all day, but I haven't been... <laughs> <laughs> So I'm bringing Andy over to the pocket that won't stop giving, that in my last video, stopped giving. But thinking that maybe a fresh set of eyes, fresh set of luck, maybe Andy can find something that we missed. But here is the pocket, and we have got dozens, if not hundreds, of pickers out of this pocket. Wow, this is impressive. Yes, uh, originally, it was up to about here. No like with a, a big boulder. Wow. Big, big boulder in this hole, we moved the boulder. Most of our good gold recently has come from sort of over there though. Do you think you got to the absolute bottom in places? Uh, no, actually some of the crevices we found disappear down to nothingness. Wow. Just keep going. Well, since we haven't found a picker yet today, we're gonna call that a picker. Plus a whole bunch of little tiny stuff. That would be pretty small for a picker, but hey, it's a picker. Bryson has decided to do some metal detecting today and see if he can find that elusive piece that's not where it's supposed to be. Not hard to find a bigger piece than yesterday. Oh no, you got a good one yesterday. Yeah, did. <laughs> you did well. The gridlessness crew, they're just all over trying different crevices here, there, and everywhere. Polly's down there detecting. Keith is doing his filming thing. Pete's back at the pocket where he found the last two pickers at the end of the day last day. And I haven't panned out that pan yet, so let's go do it. And it's really nice to pan in the creek rather than the Fraser. Nice clear water, refreshing, kind of loud. Another fantastic pan of fine, fine gold. There has to be a few hundred pieces in there, but we gotta find them pickers. Well, that's a bit better. I found a little nuggy. Probably need the close-up camera to show you that. So there it is. 
a couple of flakes, and a very, very small nugget. Again, I call these nuggies because they are significantly thick for their size. It's still really just a picker. So PD says he found something right after mine. Yep. Right after mine. There we go, Pete gets a nice picker. They're slow coming today, but at least they're here. Now we need the uh, gridlessness girls to find some. Forget about Jeff, he doesn't count. So we're all having fun. Uh, Jeff and Kezzy over here are uh, digging out part of the trench that we've been wondering about for a very long time. And hopefully they'll find some real nice gold down there. Hopefully. I'm off looking for Andy. He, he hasn't been seen for a while, so that could, be, could mean he's doing well and doesn't want people to know about it. Or he could just be exploring. Found him. He's safe, he's right there. Let's find something here to dig. So I'm hearing hooting and hollering. Hooting and hollering from the gridlessness crew. I think someone is excited. Check this out, man. Doesn't that look like a little pair of rainbows? Check it out. See? It's like golden look sunglasses. <laughs> look at that. Look at the smile on it that guy. It was just like nice. raining gold while I'm digging in here. <laughs> hey, didn't we say that one? <laughs> yeah! This is where we said we've been eyeing it down. Oh and man! All. Let's get a close up of this. Well, okay. there you go, Jeff. Your first picker from Pickerton. My first picker ever! Down in here, and it just flipped up and fell down. Strangely huh. enough, more than Dan half the pickers done, I have found at this claim, I've really, found before eh? they've got into the pan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just like that. that they are so, so visible. Awesome. When they show up, they are so, so visible. Yeah. Yep, that's awesome. I'm gonna go pan that pan out now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you should. Dad, you gotta pick it. Yeah, that's about a oh. foot deep. Yeah. Foot, foot and a half deep, and... It's there right, it. so we found the, uh, I'm pretty sure this is, like, everything's oriented this way. Yep. And so I think that's the actual bedrock, and it's just starting to break apart at the bottom. So yeah, I think we're, we're in the right spot. Okay, Jeff, it's supposed to be the girls finding it, not you. <laughs> Their pans, but <laughs> Dad, are you yeah. your fingers? Why don't you put it somewhere? Safe? Whoa, there is some sun. Whew. Check that out. What? Don't, yeah, be careful. Dad, we didn't find anything in our pans. I don't want to have to pan out all this. Yeah, there was nothing in the. Well, the we're at the bottom now, girls. You're on it wow. now. Where yeah. there's one, there's more. Woohoo! So, this is what I'm working here this crevice right here. Rolled a rock out of it and got a pan full, mostly full. Uh, we're going to finish filling it up and see if. I get something as well. But Jeff got a picker. We are so happy. Bryson just said he found a picker. It's little. It's smaller than my picker from yesterday. Andy Picker is a good picker. Let's go see what he found. <laughs> Nicely done, man. Yeah, it's just a Nicely little guy. Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah, it's... I found some lead bullets. Wow, oh, that hurts to me on. Okay, let's get out. Oh. Bryson found a picker laying on bedrock. Let's get out the close-up camera. That metal detector is awesome. The Gold Monster 1000 is oh, a great detector. I'm so happy with my purchase and my decision to get rid of the uh, the Fisher Gold Bug. Yeah, this is probably less than a 0.1, yep. and the machine picked it up no problem. I picked up a tiny little flake for uh, for Andy earlier. Yeah, that is a great looking flake, man. So there's Pete's take for the day. Not too bad. One good picker, yep. a whole lot of fine stuff. Well done, Pete. Yep, thank you, buddy. Well, we're having fun at Pickerton, but the sun just went behind the mountain, and all of a sudden, it got cold. And brilliant me didn't bring a jacket with me today. You guys all have fun today? Absolutely. Yeah! Awesome. <laughs> It wasn't the most productive day, especially spending half the day on a new spot that didn't really have the gold. But you know, the afternoon we found three or four pickers. Jeff found one, Pete found one, I got one. Uh, Andy? I got a, an eighth of a picker. An eighth of a picker, there we go. <laughs> we had a blast. I hope you all enjoyed watching our adventures. If you did, please hit that like button. Think of subscribing if you haven't already. I have lots more videos on these kind of adventures. Check them out on my channel. Big thanks to my patrons out there. You guys are awesome. Because of your support, I get to make these videos for everyone to watch. Hope you're all having an amazing day. We sure are. And until the next one.
Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <Oops>. Bye, Polly. <laughs>